Hi, Steve here, and this is my weekly diet update. I am now down to 240. I haven't been 240 in about 13 years, so this diet really is working. I mean, I have a confession to make. I actually have had a couple sodas and fast food a couple times within the last two weeks, but if I'm still losing five pounds a week with this diet, I'm not going to torture myself, so I'll keep doing what I'm doing. I've been to the gym every night after work and sticking to my diet that goes from Monday through Wednesday. And then on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I just eat whatever as long as I don't overeat. And it seems to be working for me. I've, I've worked out at the gym for the past five years and I never got any results like this, so this diet really is working for me. Okay, so this week I will be showing off my Super Nintendo collection. Here's my Super Nintendo. This is actually my wife's, but everything I own, she owns. And I hope it goes the other way too, so this is our Super Nintendo. I call him Tommy. Everyone say hello to Tommy. Tommy, say hello. Hello! Ha! Isn't he great? My wife even kept the box for it. This is from when she was a kid. Mine, I just threw it away when Christmas morning or whatever, I ripped into the box. And I just ripped up the box and threw it away. But I think they're worth more now if they have the case. I don't care though, I'm not gonna sell it. So I'll move on over to my game collection. Here is Act Razor. Act Racer is really good. This was one of the first Super Nintendo games I ever played. My buddy and I rented it from a video store and we popped it in and we got we were blown away by this. The music and everything on this was like nothing we had ever heard. Williams Arcade's Greatest Hits. I think there's like Joust and Defender and stuff like that. Stuff before my time, but I'm glad I have this. Here is Fatal Fury 2. Street Fighter was always the best fighting game to me. It looked the best and it played the best, everything, but this one came pretty close. F-Zero. This is one of the first games I ever got. I think my parents got it for me for Christmas when I got the Super Nintendo when I was a baby. But F-Zero is the... I'm not really into racing games, but I really like F-Zero. Probably because it's easy. Here's Breath of Fire. A friend at work gave that to me. I'm not really into role playing games. I don't have the patience for them. I wish I did, but I don't have the time or patience to play them. Donkey Kong Country. That's my wife's. She loves these games. My wife is really good at the Donkey Kong Country games. Here is Donkey Kong Country 2. Here's Eye of the Beholder. This is like a 3D maze RPG. A buddy at work gave it to me. I haven't really played it. Here's Out of This World. This is one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. I know it was on PC and Genesis and all that, but I only had it for Super Nintendo. This was a fun game to play on a rainy day if you didn't have school or work. Here's WWF Royal Rumble. I always got the wrestling games for Super Nintendo and they were never that great, the WWF ones, but this one was probably my favorite. I think it had 10 or 12 wrestlers on there and you could do Royal Rumbles or Survivor Series or Tag Team. Here is Star Fox. This is my wife's. This is... I'm not really into space shooters, but I like Star Fox, and it blows your mind how good this game looks for Super Nintendo. It has that FX chip in there. Moving on to Street Fighter. Here is my Street Fighter, the World Warrior. I think this was my wife's. 
This is a really, this is my favorite fighting game of all time. And it's aged really well. I know they're more advanced games now, but something about the style of this game, the way it looks, like is really timeless. It looked really great back then and it looks great now. On the arcade it looks really good, but Super Nintendo does pretty good too. It's pretty darn close to looking like the arcade. And here is the second version of Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. This is more of the same, but better and more content. I had to buy every version of this game. I loved it so much. And here is Super Street Fighter 2, even more content. This is the one I probably played the most. And then I had to finish my Street Fighter collection for Super Nintendo, so I ordered Street Fighter Alpha Online. Street Fighter Alpha 2, excuse me. And it said that the label was in poor condition, but it doesn't even have a label. It just has some masking tape on there with Street Fighter 2 Alpha written on it. It works though, so I'm glad I have it, but it doesn't look too good on the outside. And then here's a Super Game Boy. You would put your Game Boy games into this slot and then plug it into the Super Nintendo and you can play Game Boy games. This is my wife's. Here is Super Mario All-Stars. This is probably the if I was stranded on a desert island alone with only one game it would be this. It has Mario 1, 2, three and the Japanese Mario 2 and I love every single one of those games I wasn't that crazy about the Japanese Mario 2 because it was more of the same for Mario 1 but harder but once you play it it's so challenging and fun here is Super Mario Kart I was never really big into this one this is my wife she loves this one the most I like the Nintendo 64 one but this this one's really darn good too. And here is Super Mario World. A lot of people say this is their favorite. It's one of my favorites too. I put a lot of time into this game when I was a kid and all my friends would play it. I'm sure everyone did. <laughs> Who had a Super Nintendo? Here is Tetris Attack. This is uh, a puzzle game, a falling block game. It's not the same as Tetris. It's a like a gym, ma matching up gym colors. But it's this is really fun. I know it's based on another game, but I don't remember the name of it. But it's really fun. Vegas Stakes. I haven't really played that much. I got it at the Goodwill for a couple bucks. I rarely see Super Nintendo games out in the public, so when when I spot one at a thrift store or whatever, I'll buy it if it's cheap. Here is World Heroes 2. This is another one of my favorite fighting games for Super Nintendo. They pack that whole Neo Geo arcade game into this. It's it's not arcade perfect, but it's it's got everything you need. For World Heroes, this this one's I, I like this game. It, it's the fighters are based on fighters from the past or historical characters. <laughs> and the last one is Zombies Ate My Neighbors. This one's a little fun shooting arcadey style game. It's pretty fun. I, I can't beat it though. I'm not good at games like this. So that's it for this week. I will be back next week with my diet update. Had to make it short this week because I don't have that many Super Nintendo games. So I'll see you next week. Bye.